It is a Friday evening, first Friday in the month of April, first affordable group break of the month, and uh, we're going to kick it old school this week in terms of at least the players. So we are going to bust a hobby box of 2013 Panini Cooperstown. Ought to be a fun break, one that I've been looking forward to. And we'll give it just a few moments before we get started here. Just making sure everybody that was participating knew that we were going live tonight after all. After I got my internet issues resolved this week. Hey, good evening, Rick. Glad you can make it. There's the birthday boy. Good evening, Joseph, and happy birthday. Dodgers won. Yeah. So did the Braves. Yanks walked it off. Yeah, I was talking to Shane. Um, Simonson earlier, and he was telling me they lost. There, the Red Sox lost. Hey, good evening, Ben. All right. Well, it's about five after. So we'll go ahead and get started. We might have a few others wander in here. Rick, you're going to the uh, Dodgers and Braves on that 19th of April. Cool. It ought to be a good. It ought to be a good. Uh, ought to be a good game. I think they come. I think the Dodgers come to Atlanta in June, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Well, we did sell this out. So thank you everybody for. Um, grabbing, you know, a team or two or many, as some of you do. Um, hopefully, we'll get some good stuff out of here. Um, if you if you did not take the time to familiarize yourself with the checklist, um, there are several parallels because, of course, it's a Panini product. Um, crystal shards uh, are what they're called um, and they come in a variety of colors then there's also um, induction museum piece historic tickets numbers game international play Cooperstown signatures um, Colgan's discs Cooperstown lumberjacks pennants um, and die cut lumberjacks in addition to the auto um, it's a 110 card set uh, 10 the last 10 I believe are short prints um, Panini does not give individual odds so I don't know what the average is uh, that will pull of, uh, of the various inserts and parallels and whatnot um, there are a few of the autographs that or redemptions, most of them were not, so fingers crossed. Um, and it says exclusive in every box, find a limit, uh, a pennant or lumberjack die cut box topper. So I forgot all about that. 
24 packs, six cards per pack. It does say autographs are one per box right here on the front of the box, but the, I think baseball card PDA said two autographs per box. So I'm sh sure that was a typo on their part. There's Johnny from KY. That's, there's our box popper. It's definitely die cut. Nice slick red, kind of like a satin foil. See, an empty box. If anybody would like an empty pack with your stack, let me know. Speak now or forever hold your peace. All right, let's see. Let's move the camera. So we can get a little more real estate here. Yeah, I figured you'd want a wrapper, Joe. All right. They, uh, these are red. Um, it is a satin red pack. Very slick, very smooth. And uh, it does say find one new Colgan's disc in every pack. So I wondered about that because I could feel there's a circle shaped card right here on the front of each pack. I could feel those as I was pulling them out of the box. All right, so let's go ahead and start with our box topper. Yay, nay, feedback, box topper. Packs. What are we? What are we jumping into? Who feels lucky tonight? All right. I don't know. I, mean, I feel like I should be wearing some gloves or have some women in bikinis standing behind me or. Be hooting and hollering and acting a fool. I don't know. I feel like I'm I'm not blending in with the with the rest of the the quote unquote breakers. Oh well. Guess I'll just be myself. All right, we got a pennant. Milwaukee, Eddie Matthews. This does have a like a, a felt um, feature. I don't know what this dark stuff is on the back. Nineteen seventy eight induction. Not too bad. Alrighty, let's jump into it, guys. Good luck, everybody. So, uh, throw out some things uh, of the autograph subjects from the team or teams that you claimed that you're hoping to see tonight. Here's the uh, what the Colgan's disc looks like. It's 
Stars of the Diamond, one in every five cent package of Colgan's Violent Chips, Violent Chips and Mint Chips. The gum that's round. Tony Perez. All right, so first card, we have Carlton Fisk for Boston. Card back. Nice looking cards. We have Frank Chance, Chicago. Oh, we got a sparkly parallel. These cracked ice, I believe, is what Penny usually calls them. Of Zach Wheat for Brooklyn. That is 51 of 4.99. So we got a sparkle right off the bat. We have Jim Bottomley. For St. Louis and Phil Negro for Atlanta. Ben's looking for Jim Bunning. The chip card, Rick, was uh, Joss for Cleveland. Do not know first name. Oh, look at this. Got a nice young Don Sutton here for L.A. It's pretty cool. Next up, we have Yogi Berra for New York. Lloyd said Wayner for Pittsburgh. Said Carlton Fisk again. David or Dave Banneroft, New York. Cy Young for Cleveland. We have a uh, Fergie Jenkins for Chicago. Next up, we have Willie Stargell, Pittsburgh. Billy Terry for New York. An induction insert. Early win. Whitey Ford for New York and Bob Gibson for St. Louis. <laughs> yeah, who wouldn't take a Nolan Ryan, right? No, nah, I'd. Uh... What did, what was Fergie? They were talking about cards. There's Leonard for the Homestead Grays. All right, we got a Robin Yunt for Milwaukee. We have a Roy Campanella for the Baltimore Elite Giants, and we got another Sparkly. We got a green cracked ice. Mike Schmidt. This one is, oh, that one's not numbered. That's a little surprising. But sparkly, all the none. Carl uh, Hubble for New York and Dave Winfield for Toronto. Hey, good evening, Brian. Yeah, we got you a yunt. Just 
critiquing his rookie card. Yes, Winfield. That day Winfield was uh Yep, Toronto. It's got the uh, box score to the Braves Blue Jays game from October 24th, 1992 at the old Atlanta Fulton County Stadium. All right, we have a Willie Stargell disc, followed by Catfish Hunter for Oakland, Lou Pedro for Cleveland. Here's an insert of some type. Historic tickets between the New York Giants and the New York Yankees. Wednesday, October 4th, 1922. $3.30. Upper grandstand admission. So we will have to do a randomization here between the, the, uh, the Giants and the Yankees. Because Victor had the Yankees and um, Joseph, you had the uh, New York Giants. So I'll have to do a randomization there. Uh, Casey Stengel and Rube Marquard for New York. Finish that pack out. Frank Robinson for Baltimore disc. Dan Brothers, Detroit. Jim Bunning, Philly. Have another Cooperstown historic tickets between St. Louis and Boston. So we'll have to do a. Uh, Do another randomization there. Stan Musel and Honus Wagner for Pittsburgh. Oh, we had two discs in this one. Uh, Josh Gibson and Tinker. Oh, looks like we got some more color in this pack. Jim Palmer uh, for Baltimore. Hal Newhauser for Detroit. And we got a K-Line. Blue Sparkle. 121 of 499. Followed by Nolan Ryan for Houston and Ed Rush for Cincinnati. I think Panini's done a good. I, I know a lot of people crap on Panini and their unlicensed stuff, but I think they've done a pretty good job working around logos and stuff like that. Johnny mentioned it being a creative way of putting the. Getting around, getting around logos, missing logos with the Hall of Fame there. Don Russ next week, yeah. Uh, there's a little discard of the kid for the Expos, Gary Carter. Oh, see that red? We got a red. Willie McCovey, Giants. 
Grimes for Pittsburgh. And oh, for Detroit again, we got a red Ty Cobb. One, let's see, 101 of 399. Richie Ashburn for Philly. George Sisler, St. Louis. Yeah, I'm with you, Johnny. I, uh, you know, I'm I'm not to the. I guess I have a decent understanding of. of uh you know hall of fame you know baseball players and whatnot but yeah i agree with you about signifying national league or or american league on some of these teams i'll have to lean heavily on the checklist when it comes time to sort so i don't give somebody the wrong the wrong teams but we got another Two disc pack. We have a Ty Cobb and Garinger, both for Detroit. So Detroit's making out pretty good tonight. Carl Yastrzemski for Boston. We have a Cooperstown numbers game. Ricky Henderson and Lou Brock, most career stolen bases. And we've got some more color. We have green. We have Frank, a home run baker for Philadelphia. Again, the greens are not numbered. Tom Seaver for New York and Billy Southworth for St. Louis. Man, Joe, three hobbies. Going big. I thought about grabbing a box for us to do. And I haven't completely ruled it out, but oh, two more. Another Fergie Jenkins and Gary Carter. Rick Farrell, Boston, Roger Hornsby, St. Louis. We have an induction. Eddie Murray. So well, I probably should know off the top of my head, but whichever team Eddie went in under um, into the Hall of Fame will uh, will be awarded that insert final two cards trish speaker for cleveland and nelly fox for chicago <laughs> uh, ben said he thought mary's middle name was mofo so phil rizzuto Disc for New York. Pee Wee Reese, Brooklyn. Museum, Bob Feller's first no hitter. And oh, we got a gold sparkle here. Cracked ice of Lou Gehrig for New York. Eighty. Of two ninety nine. Nat Lajoy for Cleveland and Jackie Robinson for the Kansas City Monarchs. Nice. Not a bad little pack. So that's what six colored parallels already. And this is our halfway point. This is our 
what our 12th pack so about one in every other pack all right sorry the uh this card went flying lindstrom for new york zach wheat oh nice we have a wooden baseball card we got a cooperstown lumberjacks of edward arthur walsh But I am not sure without looking at the checklist who this goes to, but that's, I'm a sucker for stuff like this. That is, that's really cool. If anybody has a checklist pulled up or can check real quick. But that is a very sweet looking card. I've got another Cooperstown Historic Tickets, New York Yankees and the New York Giants again. Friday, October 2nd, 1936. I have a George Brett for Kansas City and Al Barlick as an umpire. So we will just random that off to everybody. The lumberjack is um, Edward Arthur Walsh. And it is number 29 of the set, of the lumberjack set. White Sox. Need scan? All right. I've slowed down on my scanning lately because it's a little tedious, but I'll, uh, I'll work on it. There's a Jim Bunning disc. Bill Mazeroski for Pittsburgh. We have Bill Dickey for New York. We have a green George Kell for Detroit. Frankie Frisch, New York. Robin Roberts for Philly. I've got I've got so much work that I've given myself. It's not even funny lately. So scanning cards is not quite high on the list right now. I've scanned in some wrestling cards that I pulled out of the box. Ooh, excuse me. That's about all I've done lately. Doing good trying to keep up with my trades on there. Kiner, Pittsburgh is a disc. George Kell, uh, there's red. For St. Louis. Ooh, looks like we got another green. Rod Carew for Minnesota. Tony Lazari, New York. And Brooks Robinson for Baltimore. Mm hmm. We're getting a lot more color than I ever would have thought. Oh man. You're Stimsky for Boston. All right, we have uh, Reggie Jackson for Oakland. We have Luke. Appling, Joe Medwick, St. Louis, Phil Rizzuto for New York, 
we got us another color. This time it is gold again. Second gold, Rick Farrell for Boston. Number 36 of 299. Yeah, look at that. Two blues, a red, two golds, and what? Three, four greens tonight. Still looking for our auto. Got an Ernie Banks disc. You have Joe Tinker, Chicago. Here's a museum pieces. Tony Gwynn's Spikes. Followed by Tony Gwynn. Little one-two punch there for the uh, Padres. For, for the birthday boy, Joe. Satchel Page for the Monarchs and Louis Aparicio. Chicago. Chicago. Yeah, that was a good pack for you, Joe. Another two uh, disc pack. We have Plank for Philly and Barry Larkin for Cincinnati. John, you'll have to check with uh, Chris Reed and see if that's one of those Larkins he was needing. I saw he made a comment about you edging him out. All right, Billy Williams, Chicago Goose Goslin for Washington. We have a Phil Rizzuto induction. Pretty cool. Mel Ott for New York. And Bruce Sutter for Atlanta. I'll have to check that out after the break, Joe. Disc is Walsh for Chicago. Orlando Cepeda for Atlanta. Mickey Cochran for Detroit. We've got a green Lefty Grove for Philly. Charlie Geringer for Detroit and Christy Mathewson, New York. Yep, yeah. Billy A. Gary Carter, Paul Wayner, Pittsburgh, Museum Pieces, Buck Leonard's Spikes, a lot different than Tony Gwynn's. We have a, uh, I guess this is the international, yep, international play. Orlando from Puerto Rico. Frank Robinson, Cincinnati, and Buck Leonard for the Homestead Grays. Yeah, um, Johnny Sorton will uh, probably take me a little longer on this one, but that's all right. 
Bottomley for St. Louis. Bob Feller, Cleveland. Johnny Evers, Boston. We got another red. Oh, how appropriate. A brave Bruce Sutter. 148 of 399. Followed by Joe Morgan for Cincinnati and Bobby Door, Boston. Boston. Appling for Chicago is the disc. We have Mr. Hoyt Wilhelm. North Carolina guy. We have a Cooperstown numbers game, Billy Hamilton. I have a green Dizzy Dane for St. Louis. Lou Gehrig, New York. Miller Huggins, New York. Three packs. Still looking for our auto. Save them best for last, maybe. Roberto Alomar, Toronto. Lefty Grove, Philly. Rod Carew, Minnesota. We got a Yastrzemski induction. Kaline for Detroit and Jimmy Fox for Boston. Two packs. Harvey, umpire. Another Josh Gibson. We have a blue George Sisler for St. Louis. 168 of 499. Juan Marshall, San Francisco. Al Lopez for Cleveland. Dizzy Dean. And here is our autograph. Not what I was hoping for. Doug Harvey, an umpire. Wow, that's a uh, little disappointing, I guess. Nice design, though. Uh, <laughs> 319 of 510. Worked 4,673 regular season games as an umpire. Served as a crew chief in 18 of his 31 seasons. So, yep, that will uh, be random to everybody who participated. So some of you guys will have a little bit better chance because I'm just going to put each, you know, just going to random it off between all of the uh, spots that we had. Sizzler blue sleeved up, and we have one final pack. You're right, it could have been a redemption. But what are y'all thinking? Do we try this again? Do we roll the dice and do it again? 
Reggie Jackson for New York. And uh, Joe Morgan for Houston. Mike Schmidt, Philly. Oh, got another wooden card. R Richard William Marquard. That is number 71. These are cool. I like those. Cooperstown tickets. Historic tickets. Pittsburgh and Washington. October 12th, 1925. Ty Cobb for Detroit. And Warren Spawn for Milwaukee. Braves, that is. Bam. And that is it. So... Let me get some stuff out of the way. We'll go back and look at some of the color, some of the inserts. Rube Marquad is uh, what's just above the name here in, in white. Rube, R-U-B-E. Ruby, maybe. The other one was Ed Walsh. So yeah, these lumberjacks are cool. I I wonder what the uh, wonder what the die cut variety looks like. Rube is giants. Thank you. So yeah, I gotta. Nice little stack of uh, base cards there. Got a, a good many of the discs. All right. What I will probably do is um, sometime this weekend, I will, um, I don't know if I'll just go live and if anybody is there to watch you can or just watch it on playback or if i'll record um uploading videos on dsl uh is uh takes a long time so <laughs> i may just do a quick live video and go in and, and do the randomization for for the uh for the autograph uh, as well as a couple of those inserts All right. Did they almost blow it? All right. So we had a blue Sisler, green Dizzy Dean, a gold Rick Farrell, a green Rod Carew, a green George Kell, a red Bruce Sutter. Green Lefty Grove, a gold Lou Gehrig, a green Frank Baker, a red Ty Cobb, a blue Al Kaline, a green Mike Schmidt, and a blue Zach Wheat. So lots of color. Wow, yeah. I, I heard as I was kind of working in my room downstairs i i heard that cincinnati had had uh scored a couple of runs after uh after they took out uncle charlie tonight all right so the cooperstown tickets these will be uh random uh random uh random off to the two teams that are here so there's that induction yastrzemski uh, Numbers game, Hamilton, International Play, Museum. I like those museum cards. Those are kind of cool. Induction. So a little, little variety. Historic tickets between the Giants and Yankees. St. Louis and Boston, 
Yankees and Giants, Pittsburgh and Washington. Induction cards of Early Win, Eddie Murray, Phil Rizzuto, uh, and Yastrzemski. Museum cards of Bob Feller's first no-hitter, Tony Gwynn's Spikes, and Buck Leonard's Spikes. Numbers game. This will have to be random between Ricky Henderson and Lou Brock. Billy Hamilton. And the one international play. So that is it. That wraps it up. Sorry, the uh, auto was a little lackluster because I know that's probably what most of us were thinking or hoping, uh, looking forward to. Uh, go with the team that won the game instead of random. Yeah, because the ticket is for a specific game. Okay. Well, I, I was thinking that first, the, the home team. But... Uh, So like this is uh, New York is the home team, but the Giants won that game. St. Louis beat Boston, but like St. Louis was the home team. Well, Yankees whooped up on the Giants that game, 18 to four. Pittsburgh six, Washington three. Let's go. Okay. And then stand a random. We'll go with the winning team. I, th I think that makes sense. So Pittsburgh, Yankees, St. Louis, and Giants. At least for for the two Yankees and Giants, each, each team will get one. So there we go. So that only leaves a couple of cards to be random. All right, next week. I think next week we'll uh, we'll uh, jump back a few years to 1999, and we'll uh, hit the uh, top stars. Looking forward to this one as well. I I, uh, I think we. I think I opened some of this when it was new. Um, what is this? Yeah, 24 packs. Yeah, we've got some other stuff. Um, We've got some other stuff that we'll do where we're going to do two box in one night just to kind of move it forward a little bit. Um, but, uh, but yep. Uh, I think next week we'll just stick with the one box and we'll, uh, we'll stay with the um, Saturday or excuse me, the Sunday afternoon um, signups. And, you know, uh, well, I guess we'll go ahead and make that the official new sign up date. Uh, so I will go ahead and get working on getting a post ready for that. Um, and like I said, I'll go ahead and start 
sorting the Cooperstown, but uh, yeah, no, no joking, you know, all joking aside, it probably will take me a little bit longer. Um, I do have a couple of stacks that uh, are ready to go. Um, I think that we're waiting for this break, uh, the Cooperstown, but, uh, but anywho, yeah. Appreciate it guys. Yeah. I hope y'all guys have a fantastic weekend. And, uh, if you need anything, reach out to me. Uh, and, uh, otherwise look, uh, Sunday afternoon, uh, probably again, late afternoon for the signups for the top stars. But thanks again. Y'all have a great weekend. Uh, again, happy birthday, Joseph. Hope you've had a great day. Hope the, the day finishes out on a good note for you and uh, for everybody else as well. We'll see you back here next Friday night. Until then, everybody be good.